By your sweet princess Sipka. Good morning, America. Here's your sweet and kind princess Silke. I'm intelligent. I am sharing. I am generous. And I grew up with spinach. Yeah, she would boil the spinach in a large pot. Wait until it reduces itself, take it at the side and chop it. And then she would make a bechamel sauce. But of course, bechamel, that fancy French name she had no clue about. In Germany, we call that Mehlspitze, sweated flour. And next, she would sweat it tremendously. Hurry, hurry, the sauce, it's hard, it's difficult. I have to catch the right point. She would sweat it because she did not pay close attention to what the name actually said. Sweated flower. Not sweated chef. Not hot flower. Just sweated flower. So she would be very nervous. To the nervous breakdown, no one has to interrupt because if she doesn't do it very fast, the flower would clump. She not did it only not right. She just did not do it right. She didn't look. But bechamel is a nice sauce. Very simple. Butter, flour and milk. That's it. What? Garlic? Chicken broth? Princess, this is a worker's home. Not a palace in royal France. <laughs> we did not have garlic in Germany. Nothing, man. Can you believe it? Just another reason for the dummies, the low educated, to fart on the Turks. Garlic fresser. Garlic, yeah, how do you say fresser? Eater? Well, more like the animals do. How idiots. How could Germany survive so many years without garlic? I do not know. Garlic is present in Spain, garlic is present in France, garlic is present in Italy, and so on but not in Germany. Yet she did that bechamel sauce a few times. It was a must when she made cauliflower. She would cook an entire cauliflower. Kind of obnoxious and bulky, that large entire thing. She wouldn't even chop it in pieces. And then she would pour that bechamel on top. I don't really like cauliflower. But at the side came the fricadelle. That is actually the burger. Burger, just the meat. We call it frikadelle. I heard in Holland they say frikandelle. It's a little bit of a thing. We kind of don't really quite know how to pronounce it. And of course, salted potatoes. And then she would also serve the salted potatoes with the spinach. And on top of that, invariably would come a fried egg. Fried egg over spinach. And the liver, which wasn't chicken liver, the beef liver would invariably come with applesauce out of a jar and mashed potatoes out of a package. And yes, she would fry onions on top for the liver. Now I ate onions since I was a child. <clears throat> and then she would do nothing else because chicken wasn't part of our diet. She did not like to handle the chicken. So she said, we can eat chicken as long as you wash the chicken and handle it. So she bought a large can, a can with an entire chicken in it. But that was later, <clears throat> that when we lived in the Karlschmidt house, so I was a teenager. So I took it out, I washed it, what's the big deal? And then she made my favorite dish. She did never know it was my favorite dish. Another one with the bechamel. She would pull the chicken once cooked and then she would put that into the bechamel with, with mushrooms, champignons, out of a jar. And I said asparagus, white ones, the large ones, out of a jar. But the creamy sauce with the chicken, wow, that was wonderful. I barely had it though. I get so weak in the knees 
days I can hardly speak I lose all control And something takes over me And it days your love so amazing It's not a phase I want you to stay with me By your side I swallow my pride 